Okay, welcome back. In this exercise, I'm going to be showing you more advanced options under the configuration manager. Okay, so in our previous session, we learned how to create a new configuration and we called it our section view, which is what you see in front of you right here. And as you can see, if I double click on the default, it goes back to my regular full part. And the section view is an extrude cut that I created to cut my part in half. So let's go ahead and right click over here on section view and come over here under properties so I can show you what the advanced options are. So if you scroll all the way down, you're going to see something new over here. Now, usually it will be the first one checked and none of these are checked. I just had this checked because I was playing around with it before I showed you the session. So advanced options, you're going to see that suppress new features in mates. If you remember, we created a feature over here, which is an extrude cut that cut our part in half. Okay. Now the advanced options, what happens with those is that they only go for the other uh, configuration. So for example, we are in our section view configuration here. So anything I check over here, this is telling asking us what do we want to do with our first configuration after we make the changes in our current configuration. So don't, don't get that confused. So we're in our section view configuration, but these advanced options are for our previous configuration or our default configuration. Okay. So when, when this says suppress new features and mates, meaning whatever mates I create in our new configuration will be suppressed in our old one. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So if I just click on okay and go back to my, this is in our section view, go back to my uh, part, you're going to see that I, that I created an extrude cut, which I created with you in our last session. Now, if I go back to my configuration and double click on default and then go back to this, you're going to see that that cut that was in our previous configuration or our new configuration is now suppressed. Okay. If you actually right click on it, you can unsuppress it, but it's suppressed, meaning it's not there. It's there, but it's suppressed down. So you look, you cannot see it. So again, anytime you create a something in a feature and you have that option checked in your one, in your one, one of your uh, configurations, it will be suppressed in your second or your default configuration. Okay. Let's go back over here and go under properties again and scroll back down again. But now, there's a few more options over here. One of them is a hide new component. One of them is suppress new component. And one of them is use configuration specific color. And that's because you, you can go by and every configuration you make, you can use a certain color so you can distinguish between your configurations. That's actually a very nice feature to use. And there's also an edge rebuild save mark. Uh, you know, you can set certain marks in the configuration that you can follow. Now the hide new component and suppress new component are kind of similar. You know, you know what hide is, it's just hiding the um, whatever screw, whatever nut you want, you want a part of the assembly that you want to hide, or you can also suppress it. But remember again, this has to do with the other one, other configuration. So whatever configuration you are right now, these are pointing to the other one. Remember the suppress new features, this suppress the cut feature in the other section view, in the other configuration, which was the default. Let's go ahead and click on hide new component. Now I'm going to uncheck this just to show you what happens if I don't use that. I'm going to click on OK. Let's go back to our default view. If I insert a part, so I'm going to click on browse and insert a part. So let's, let's go ahead and insert this screw and go back to my section view. You're going to notice that that part exists over here as well. OK, but if I right click on it again, go back to properties and go back down here and click on hide new component and click on OK. Let's go back to my default view. Now add another component. OK, I'm going to add that same one so you can see them both next to each other. And then go to your section view. You're going to notice that one of your component is now gone. And that's because you've selected that. OK, so I go back to my properties over here. And that's because you have hide new components. So that means while you're in the other view, if you added that component, then in this view, it will be gone. So don't get that very confused. It's a, uh, the more you get used, the more you play around with it, you'll get used to it. But remember this always is pointing to the other uh, configuration that is there. So that's how you use the advanced options. You can, it's the same thing over here for the suppress new component. So I won't be going over it. It's going to show basically the same thing. But if I exit out of here and go back to my drawing, you're going to see that in my section view, nothing, it does, it shows the normal, um, just to cut extrude over here. And if I go to my back over here and click on my default, 
and go back to my part, you're going to see an extra screw, which is this screw right here. That screw was already there, and this screw is there in this one, as well as the suppressed um, suppressed uh, cut that we've created over here. Okay, so I'll go back to my section view over here, go back to my part. You're going to notice that the hidden part, which was the screw over here. So this screw is still there, but it's hidden. So this is the hidden symbol. And in the other configuration, in the default configuration, this is the suppress symbol. It's grayed out. And that's uh, more about the configuration manager and the advanced options.